Okay, what we have here is the HF35 out of a 2014 C-Max, approximately 115 miles, 115,000 miles. Uh, customer states, uh, inspect for a transmission leak, uh, verify the transmission leak. Uh, it's a trans case leak that uh, you'll get some leakage through here, through the case, uh, between the case halves. And it's usually really easy R&R uh, &R and uh, removal and uh, reseal the case. Uh, this one was different from that because during my normal diagnosis process on uh, low fluid um, condition, like such as a leak, um, it'll have, it'll be a, a whining noise will be associated with it. Sounds like a power steering whine. Uh, it's very common for something with low fluid, it's cavitating. What I usually do is before I sell a reseal, I end up uh, draining whatever fluid's left in it, uh, refill it back to specification, road test. If the whining noise does not uh, subside, then I know I got some further bigger issues. Now, some of the damage that is caused by a low fluid condition um, will be transfer shaft bearings. And differential bearing failure. As you can see, they're so worn out, they almost fall out of the cage. And you can see the damage here. Now, for the purpose of this video, um, I removed the, uh, the pump here from, from the transmission, which is the traction motor. And here, uh, the traction motor drives a gear uh, that is keyweighed to the pump. It goes like this. Now, what would cause, other than a low fluid conditions, what would cause um, bearing failure like this? Well, that would be a lack of oil. What I found, if you go, if we could see here a little bit deeper, it's going to be really tough to see. But let me get my flashlight here. In here, there is a, a gear. Let's see if we can get a good look at this. There's a gear. You can see there, those broken teeth. There we go. Those broken teeth shear off. And the, that's, those are the gears that are driven by the traction motor in order to uh, drive the pump and pressurize uh, the oil galleys inside the um, transmission. Uh, then ultimately lubricate all the bearings uh, and all the differential and the transfer shafts. It is a non-serviceable part unless you have a donor trans that you could uh, tear, tear apart and find, but usually that's not a very common issue. It's not very common to find uh, too many of these um, available for as uh, donor parts. So generally um, we'll do a complete replacement on this as in this case. And just a factoid, um, transmission failures like this will be covered under hybrid emissions warranty, uh, which is kind of nice. Um, if I remember correctly, it's 10 years, 150,000 miles. Um, I'll be advising the customer uh, that uh, this will be covered under the warranty, and uh, they should be pretty happy about that. All right, let's take a look at the stripped out pump drive gears. Um, I'm going to turn the traction motor. As you can see here, these are the traction motor gear teeth. And as you can see, they are not meshing with the pump drive gear. It's completely stripped out. 